Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, that's Lemon Pest in front of us there on the right. And today we're back with some more Starfield Shattered Space, which we started last time. So we just need to head up to the control room and um, get this station a moving. So let's go. Come on, Lemon Pest, up we go. Look at this though, it's so cool. Really, really well made so far. We don't know too much. Um, about what's been going on. It appears there's some kind of accident with the um, with the grav jump, I think. Find an alternative path to reach the grav controls. Well, we're, we're okay. Can you just get out the way, box? Thank you. All right. Can we? All right. Let's let's get this this a moving, shall we? Warning. Station is utilising emergency power due to safety protocol 12.5. Gravity has been disabled for energy conservation. Enable gravity. Warning. Okay. Gravity procedure initiated. Okay, you ready, Lemon check your surroundings to ensure personal safety. It's not making... Restoring sure. gravity okay. in three, two, one. Oh. And we're back on the back on the deck. Brilliant. Return to the engineering bay controls to restore power. Well, there you go. All right. We can come out of third person now. These damn controls. Why would he not respond to me? Well, Mark, damn you. Uh, dude. Okay. Okay. We, can we do something here with this? Oh, we can disable the gravity again. Well, we don't want to do that. Bloody hell. Why is it still showing up? Right. We've restored Oracle's gravity. So, can we... Hmm. So, we need to get back down there. All right. Come on, Lemon Pest. We've got okay. We've got our packs. We can. Um, I, well, that was quite a fall. it was, but we'll be all right. No, lemon pest. I need you to come over. Hit. Look at this, though. This is tragic, isn't it? Just tragic. Hey. I mean, med pack Koza. I don't know what Koza is. Koza is. I never said COVID is then. Huh. The dreaded COVID. All right, let's um, let's head back to engineering. So, ah, here we are. We can do it here main power. So, didn't we already do this? Okay. Okay. Power cell connected. Report to operations for system reboot. Ah, but can we get into operations? I don't think we could, could we? Because it was a little, um, a little clogged up at the front there. Yes, couldn't get in here, could we? Oh, we can now. Hey, look at that. Nice. Well, Lemon Pest, this is, um... The Vortex Phantoms. Where did they go? Something is wrong. I'm getting armed. Okay. Is he no. gonna turn? No. I have to hold on. Oh dear. <gasps> is he gonna yeah. Yeah, had a feeling that was gonna happen. Well done, Lemon Pest. Well done. Okay, heavy particle fuse, grenades. I don't know why the the Varun items keep showing up as small text. It's very, very bizarre. I don't know what you're shooting at, Lemon Pest, but I will, I will not question it. Anti-personnel extruded calibrated Varun skimas. Ooh, it's kind of futuristic pirate sword. Okay, creds. Experimental osme osmium dagger. Well, experimental alloy handle. What does that mean? Oh, screw it. Let's just 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 take it all. Right out loud. Do we need to return to our ship? Maybe. I suppose. So. Oh dear. Well. <gasps> oh, here she comes. Come on then. There you go. So, Operations Access Card, Creds, Light Particle Fuse, a Refined Varun Star Shard, and a Vortex Shard. Lovely. Marvellous. Well, hello, madam. 
Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to take... Oh, look at the value on it, though. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Varun Starstorm. Damn. Look at that. Lemon Pest, would you like this? This is like a more advanced version of your minigun, I think. It's kind of cool. In a way. Okay. Vortex Shard. Brilliant. Well, I think I know what we have to do, to be honest, but... Can I have a little look on here? Is this going to tell us something? Operations Lab Computer. And what's this? Operations Controls. Well, let's have a look on the Lab Computer first. Ooh. Here we go. Okay, so experiment 79-685.10. Initial tests to utilize grav drive technology to open a sustainable bubble have failed. We were hoping the ability to test in a true zero G environment may provide more insight, but so far our data has failed to show any promising leads. Okay. Uh, experiment 79-685.13. Several attempts with the same failed results. There was no evidence of any prolonged amount of time when an object jumps from point A to point B. A series of adjustments to our theoretical equation will be necessary. It will take some time to reconstruct a working algorithm. Okay. Experiment 79-685.15. Another failure. Under our newest calculations, we discovered the Oracle may be unable to allot sufficient power to our laboratory test bed without needing to cut off necessary utilities. We have received permission to move forward with engineering project ID 79-354, which Dr. Bosovic believes will give us the power we need to conduct a successful experiment. Okay, well, hmm. So they were trying to find a means to... Can we go down there? Trying to find a means to create a bubble? What do you want a bubble for? What's what's the bubble story? Uh, um, could I have a little peek down? Oh, here you go, stairs. Ha! Me just about to jump down here. Notepad. Don't really want that. Huh. Yes, it was some kind of experiment to create a bubble? Hmm. No. What would you need a bubble for? Hmm. Steel bottle, battle sim. Okay. Nothing else here? No. Alright. Thermos notebooks. Hey. Oh, well. I mean, mildly disappointing, but never mind. We've, we, we came, we saw, we had a look. Oh, wait a minute, what's over here? Anything? Absolutely diddly squit apart from some lockers. And I reckon a wire spool. Well, hmm. Oh, my flashlight was on. Good God. Med pack, lovely. Apologies if I keep using the wrong key. I've been playing Fallout London and the keys are very different on that. I might swap them around, but I don't know. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Let's get this crack a lacking, shall we? Are you ready, Lemon Pest? This is it. Warning, station is utilising emergency power. Mainframe reboot is required to reinstate proper function. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got to wait Mainframe for it to reboot. reboot initiated. Okay. Commencing protocol. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Station lockdown completed. Okay. All major systems on standby. Mainframe reboot completed. Okay. Warning. Station jump procedure initiated. Will it take our ship? Surroundings to ensure personal safety. You ready, jump Lemon Pest? Three, two, one. Execute. Here we go. Jump completed. Station lockdown released. Initiating data transfer. Are we alive? I think we are. Incoming transmission. Yep, still looking this good. This is Dasra calling the Oracle <gasps> Station. We've received your transmission. Your orders are to send a representative down here immediately. It appears we have much to discuss. Um. Might be a problem because they're all kind of they're all they're all kind of dead. Um. All right, well, lemon pest, come on, let's um. Let's let's 
can we see the planet? Oh, I can't, I can't see it out the window. Oh my god, I want to see this. Maybe we'll get a better view from our ship. We do have a fantastic front window. I mean, oh, I don't know how I feel about this whole thing. But, come on then, let's um, go and greet the natives, I suppose. I feel kind of bad for these folks, you know. Damn. Did the... Um, the ship survive the trip. I hope it did. I imagine it will have done. Whoa. It will have done. Was this red before? Oh, yeah, it was. <gasps> there it is, look. There it is. Oh, there's our ship. Beautiful. It did survive. Brilliant. Let's, let's, let's get out there. On to the Guardian. Oh, well, it's still in one piece. That's the main thing. Can we... Well, there's a planet there. Hmm. All right. Well, let's um, undock and, and, and go for it. Might need to offload some things before we land, but that's fine. That ship will carry the memory of your visit forever. It, it probably will. Look at this, Lemon Pest. So this... Think, Varun Kai. This is Andreja's home planet. Well, let's look at that. Wow. Well, let's 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 scan it and see what's what. Hmm. Iridium, cobalt, nickel. Hmm. Chlorine, water, and uranium. Wow, look at the sun as well. Jeez. This is cool. All right. Well, uh, hmm. I wonder whereabouts this solar system actually is. Reach the city of Dazra. Can we see where it is? Oh! That's where... The Rune Homeworld is. It's not even that far away. Good God. Well, brilliant. Hmm. Well. I suppose we should take a look, shouldn't we? Whoa. Holy guacamole. Look at this. Now... Before we step out, I think we should offload some things, Lemon Pest, because I don't want to be going out into the field with a lot of stuff. Look at that! Let's get onto the, the old observation deck up here. Look at this! Wow! So this is where Andreja came from. Awesome! Alright, let's, let's offload some things in here for now. I have a lot of weapons that I don't really need. What? Really? That's kind of mildly irritating, but never mind. never mind. I have bigger chests to use. Well, Lemon Pest, you're not supposed to stand on that, you know. That's sophisticated equipment. Get down. Ridiculous. You're like a, you're like a puppy that needs to be told off. I can't decide whether we should maybe wear a, a Varun outfit just while we're here. We could wear the suit. No. We will. We'll, we'll, we'll... We'll wear a Varun outfit while we're here, just to kind of show a little bit of respect, you know. Um, all right, what else can I have possibly afford to get rid of? All right, Lemon Pest, are you ready to meet the locals? Maybe should we Do give you... Do you need anything? Your clothes cleaned, your boots polished. That was a good pop. It, it was. I kind of feel like maybe I should dress you in the Varun guard's outfit. Just because you are kind of like my... my... Or should I put you in a Varun suit? Hmm. Possibly. Possibly. Would it suit him? He doesn't have my fantastic build, but there you are. Um, 
Yes, let's take let's take those and we'll we'll put you in that. I might actually ditch the helmet because, yeah, I just I want to I want to be able to see Lemon Pest. I mean, he's not much of a sight to see, but you know. April, there we are. Doesn't weigh anything, but you know, Lemon Pest. I would like you to wear something, yes, please. That sounds awful. Random. Okay, uh, let's give you that. There you go. Go into there, and um, I want you to wear this lemon pest, please. There we go. Part of now you look a little bit more um, just the best. official. Okay, let's. Um, should we go out armed? Hold very still and choose your words carefully. They will determine how long you live. Okay. You have no right to be here. You will tell me how you found this place. Um. This was an accident. I was just responding to a distress call. No signal should have left this system. Mm, but the Oracle was lost. Yes, and I brought it back to you. Um. Yes, I'm afraid there were no survivors. Ah, we had feared this Ooh. much, but it is good to know for certain. Interesting Forest, tattoos? I think we need not fear our guest. Perhaps in this time of need, the Great Serpent has delivered us a gift. Yes, well, I am a Counselor, gift. Counselor, with due respect, we have not had unannounced visitors here in generations. It is a clear breach of security. I do not disagree, and I know that security, in whatever small form we can grasp it, is of paramount importance. But you must acknowledge the timing is... curious. Timing? And perhaps our guest's intent should be determined before we take further action. Probably a good idea. I mean, I am the Starborn, just so you know. Um... Yes, I, um... Your station did bring me here. I would just... My ship was docked when it, you know, did it. We received the automated transmission, but you are certainly not who we expected to find. Well, okay. Great serpent. <gasps> Hear me. Speaker, we are here. Malibu. Do we, we have reached out to you. No. To, to seek guidance in our hour of need. The gate in the Citadel has been opened just to seek you. Have I failed you? What is this place? Where am I? Why do you not show yourself? Oh, I look good I in this. Sorry. Only to follow your command. All must serve. Please, do not leave me in darkness. I seek only your wisdom, your guidance. Are they ghosts? Wait, your children cry out to you. Will you not answer us? Okay. This is a little weird. Okay, so hello, counselor. Our leader, Anasco Varun, he has appeared like this over and over. Oh dear. So many of our people have been trapped in this state, these vortex phantoms. But usually they are hostile and lash out. Hmm. Anasco is different. If only we could hear his voice. Some reassurance that all is not lost. Um. So what is going on here? I am not able to go into detail. There was an experiment, an accident. Many of our people left in a similar state. While most are hostile, Anasco is... The Great Serpent spared him that fate. Mm. He's different. If only we could communicate with him. Yeah. I know it was Anasco. Um, so he was he called some kind of leader in the past? Anasco Varun is our leader. The grandson of Jinan Varun himself. Oh. He sometimes appears to us, but we cannot interact. Okay. Well, he sounds plenty lost himself. You... Could hear him. Yeah. Despite the sightings, none have heard the word from Anasco in all this time. Yet, 
You claim too. Yeah. Do not toy with me. Not about this. If you speak truth, you must prove it. What did he say? Um. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he sounded like he was trying to contact the Great Serpent, but something's wrong and he sounds lost. He did say almost cert, though. Well, let's, yeah. I, the serpent. The experiment was a secret, even to many of our own people. Truly, you did hear an asko. You have been chosen. Oh, Lord. So. Malibor. People of House Varun, hear me. Kef? We have asked the great serpent for Hello. deliverance from our calamity. And he has answered us. This outsider has been chosen as the most unlikely vessel for the great serpent's divine provenance. And he will help save us all. I mean, all right. Outsider, please. Didn't ask, but okay. There is no denying you have been sent here as a sign. You must help us. But there are... Uh, there are precepts that must be followed, principles that must be obeyed. Like what? Even in these dire circumstances, mm. we cannot turn from Jinan Varun's teachings. You will be granted safe passage through Dazra and the lands beyond. No harm will come to you. On that, you have my word. Good. You even have my assurance that your compatriot here will also remain unharmed. Well, he's useful. But to truly aid us, you must become part of House Varun. This is not a thing done lightly, and it cannot be taken back. Will you commit to helping us by becoming one of the promised? What? Um, hmm. Well, um, yeah, what exactly am I signing up for here? Because, uh, I'm not, not massively religious, dude, so, you know, I kind of fly by my own compass kind of thing. Well, efforts to do something, anything, about our current dilemma have fallen to political infighting. Typical. I believe your arrival, if nothing else, represents a sign from the Great Serpent himself that we must finally put aside our differences and work together. It must be ordained that you would appear before us now, able to hear the speaker when no one else can. Well, hmm. Yeah, what what does it mean, the promise? What, what, what's that about? We, the people of House Varun, are the promised. The Great Serpent has blessed us with knowledge of the future and our place in it. Our service to him guarantees us a place in the new worlds he will create when he returns to enshroud the universe. A greater gift could not be bestowed upon you. Um, phew. Well, I don't know about agreeing to anything right now. Just you know, let me get a let me get a feel for the uh, for the place first. The serpent has brought us all here together for a reason. We cannot, must not, fight what is ordained. I understand that this is a great deal to absorb. Please take a moment to think it over. But House Varun cannot wait forever. Well, all right. Um. Ooh, that's a lot. It's a lot to take in, you know. I mean, there's no need to grumble at me. Lemon pest, come on. Let's let's have a little sniff around here. I mean, ooh, I don't know whether I believe in all this. Can I open this? No. You know, the great serpents and all that jazz. It... What do you think, lemon pest? What do you think? You don't think, do you? Your head is full of fluff and stuff and nothing else. You missed a spot. <laughs> oh, I'm so awful. I mean... What does it mean, though, signing up for all this? What's it kind of meaning that we're going to be... Meaning that we're going to be doing... Are we going to be... Is this something I can mine? No. Are we going to be... 
doing religious ceremonies and stuff, or are we signing ourselves up for, I don't know, it just seems a little weird. But we potentially won't really have a choice. May have to do it. It just, I don't know, seems a little on the nose, does it not? To be asking us to just join up with House Varun just like that. Look at this cool thing, it's cool. Good old, the good old Rev 8. I love it. I don't know. Join House Varun. I mean, Andreja would probably like it. And we like Andreja. Well, we did in our past life. I don't know what she's like now. She might be... She might be different. She might be, I don't know, less wonderful? Is that possible, though? She is Andreja. And she is wonderful. And we do adore her. Because she's wonderful. Hmm. Nothing else in these? Just more sleep crates, I think? Okay. Well. Uh, yeah. Professionals advanced shoddy. Decent value on it. Okay. What's in here? Superior bounty hunter space helmet. Would rather... Would rather not. Thank you. Ooh, hey. I'll take a cred stick. Always, always. Yeah. I don't know about this. These are just citizens. Is this... Like a... Can we... Hard boiled eggs, cereal. Yeah. An outsider here yes. in Dasra. These really are strange days. They are. They are indeed. Perhaps so you have indeed been sent to us. My question as well is: Are Varun folks? Are they aliens or are they human beings? Well, screw it. Let's 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 do it. Okay. Hello. Our situation is dire. We need all the help we can get, including yours. I remain hopeful that the Serpent has guided your thoughts, as he guides us all. Have you reconsidered? I have. Will you join House Varun, become one of the promised, and deliver us from this crisis? Well, yep, yeah, just tell me where to begin. Excellent. Please, come with me. Oh, okay. Forgive me for not introducing myself. Okay. I am Malibor Dulkev, a member of the High Council of House Varun. I have been asked to represent the council in this moment. Please, Great. enter our city. You have my word that you will not be harmed. I better not be, mate. I've got I a lemon pest. That He's a lunatic. Have become promised Look at this. To avoid the citizens of Dasra. They are not used to outsiders. Wow, that's cool, man. This is cool. Hmm. All right. I won't. I won't talk to anybody. You lead the way, brother. Open the gate. Can you look after the ship for me, boys? You must tell me what I reveal for now. It'll look after the ship. It's fine. You saw the scaled citadel as you Whoa. arrived. It was the center of an explosion of sorts this. that has annihilated most of our city. Is this we have lost some men of our kind of memorial, and sisters. Okay. Uh, I believe we are still in danger. Possibly. Varun Depository. Counselor, okay. what is the meaning of this? Is there a problem, Makula? This city is in shambles. The speaker is missing, and here you are leading some outsider through our sacred space? Chill out, mate. Why allow this husk to defile our city? Have we not lost enough? Have faith. I believe this outsider was guided here by the great serpent himself. And soon, serpent willing, they will be one of us. But, I can be sure and pass your concerns on to the rest of the High Council, if you wish. I apologize for the interruption. Hey, no problem, dude. There is a ritual intended for converts to the Promised. The best, it's come not on. been performed in generations. We are fortunate that there are those still alive who remember the old ways, and have remained prepared for such a moment as this. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is kind of cool, isn't it? Like, temple? Come on, Lemon Pest, let's, um... 
follow on here. Look Herald at this. Inaza, I suspected we might find you here waiting. I saw the ship landing. I knew immediately that I would be needed. There you go. Indeed you are. This is Inaza Kaisia, Herald of the Serpent. She well, will hello. guide you through the ritual. I am needed elsewhere, but I assure you that you are in good hands. Well, I hope so, mate. I've got a lemon pest, and let me tell you, he's got a mean minigun. He'll have you all. All right, um, Inaza Kaiser. Hello. So, yep. the great serpent sends you to me. Hmm. There is something about you. Starborn, baby. No, husk. To walk the serpent's path. To enter the sacred cave. There is no turning back. You will be forever changed. This is a path you must walk of your own free will alone. Will you step forward and emerge anointed? One of the promised. I mean, I don't wish to be rude, but if it means that, you know, I end up with your kind of eye bags, I don't know how I feel about it. You need some cucumber for those. Maybe a little collagen? Sort you out. Okay, um, do you know what? Hmm. Why did you call me a husk? Yeah, I'm not a husk. I'm a husky gent. You have not been filled with purpose by the great serpent, so you are merely a husk. But perhaps not for long. I don't like the idea of being filled. That's a little here, yeah, that terminology. What's he gonna No, don't ask. Don't ask. Alright, well I'm ready. Then enter. And I shall guide you along the serpent's path. Cool. But this is a journey you must undertake alone. Your escort cannot follow. Oh that's fine. Can you like give him some give him some food and some water? It'd be fine. Lemon pest just um just mingle. Or go back to the ship and, and maybe have a little bit of a tidy up. You know, put the coffee on. I won't be long, mate. Alright. I'm here. Lemon Pest, you can't come you can't come with me. Dear, I think you have to wait here. So just wait here. Okay. It's a ball. Is there anything we can scan in here? What's that? Trays and stuff. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Cool ornament. Uh, hello, sorry. You must walk the path. I am merely here to guide you along your way. That's fine. I can do this. What's in there? Biscuits. Well, all right. I assume I just go down here. Yeah. Alright. I can do this. Are you coming with me or do oh. Guess not. There were humans. First on Earth, then scattered among the stars. Kinda pretty, okay. And like all humans, they were lost souls. Wandering in the dark, looking for a path. Uh, okay, so well, what's what's in here? A lot of old bones and a bowl. God. All right, so down this way, or is there another way? No, this way, definitely. Another load of old bones, green fluted vase. Yeah, a wet emergency kit. Can I have that? I'm taking it. Balls of war. One particular colony sheep housed several hundred of these souls. Ooh. They were each of them isolated. Individual tiny flames that could be snuffed out at a moment's notice. Alright. Blow out a candle. I can blow out a candle, shall I do it? There you go. Ooh, it's a little spooky. Spooky faces. Thank God I don't need candles, eh? But she now encountered the great serpent 
and was given the gift of knowledge. He shared his knowledge with those around him and yeah. lit the way for them. Okay, okay. I know I'm supposed to be following this path, but you know, just like a hot steamy bath. Kind of nice. All right. Sorry, Distraction Avenue. I'm sure. Okay, it's very Indiana Jones. I haven't brought a bag of sand with me. And his light, and they cast aside the burdens of their former lives, and thus. House Varun was born. Now you too have the chance to cast aside your burdens, to relieve yourself of anything that holds you back. Do I just need to drop something here? What could I cast aside? Do you know what, actually? Let's sacrifice a lemon. Lemon pest. <laughs> there you go. Aside the lemon, that was my burden. He is burdensome. He is, but I, I, I kind of adore him in a way because he's so ridiculous. It, okay. Oh god. Oh. There we go. Do it that way. All right. The people's hopes and fears and dreams were entrusted to the great serpent. It's cool. They made the leap of faith that brought House Arun to greatness. Okay. You may Ooh. now follow in their footsteps and take that same leap. Embrace the great serpent, and he will embrace you. Hopefully not too tight, and he's not a boa constrictor. So, okay, um, what's that? Okay, the leap of faith. I can do this, you know. What? Oof. Did I not do it? Oh, I did. Hey, what's down here? A load of water. Well, I like to have a look. Never mind. I took the leap of faith. Is that all right? Can I do it again? See? You see how faithful I am to the cause. Ba -ba -da -ba! Oof. We did it. Twice. Does that mean I get twice as much? <laughs> For doing it twice? So what's up here then? Seeing as... Okay. Alright. Anything else up here? Ah! What are we here? Fibre. Guess you didn't... Um, succeed. What is that noise? Thought so. Can I? Oh. Okay. Of, um, not really worth looking into. All right, so down here. Well, what's so that's obviously the way through. So what's down here? Oh, I mean, it's good that they have those safety precautions in place, you know. Because what if somebody fell and grazed the knee? They need medical assistance. All right, here I am. The people of House Faroon settled this world at first in these very caves. Jinan Faroon himself slept among them in these shelters. Okay. It was here that he spread the word of the serpent. It was here that the people of House Faroon first understood the truth of their place in the universe. Okay. What's up? Sorry. Looking around, you know, you gotta look around. You gotta check things out. Okay, here I am. I'm coming, um... 
down and in. Ooh. Gray labor, gray labor jumpsuit. Never seen that before, but never mind. Uh, anything else? Spacesuit, workbench. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Ah, uh, decent value. Decent value and some uh, ammo. Perfect. Ooh. I don't think I have any resources to do anything here, but you know what? Let's have a little peep, shall we? Uh, last breath. I can't remember what I wanted to put on last breath. No, I can't. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, I wanted to suppress my other one, didn't I? Well, screw it. We've not got any resources anyway. So... What else is in here? We just left all this down here. This seems a little wasteful, doesn't it? Am I tripping out on that? I don't know. It just seems a little odd. I mean, it's fine. Do as you please. At least they left it in a like tidy state, you know? That's fine. Look at this. Like a little... Steamy pool. You're going to have a swim. Ah. Oh. Steam bath. Nice. And it was here that the people of House Verun first understood the truth of the shrouding. A great serpent's return. Hell. He will encircle the universe he created, and all those who do not follow will be cast into shadow. And the people weighed this knowledge against their former lives and saw how they had been blessed despite the difficult new life that awaited them. You too would do well to feel that solace amidst the pain. I don't feel any pain. I feel kinda, kinda good. You know? She bog standard toilets. Well, any bog standard showers. Anything else in here? Anything that's gonna maybe. I don't know. It just seems odd, doesn't it? To have all this here and just leave it. You know? Meh. Yeah. It's a little odd. I mean, it doesn't matter. I suppose. Maybe they've left it as kind of a shrine to how they used to live. I don't know. Who can say? Who can say? Huh. Okay. Well, interesting, very interesting. So, we've been in there. What's on top of here? Anything of any interest? Notebook and a bowl. Okay, so... What's that? Contemplate the shrouding. Well, what's this? Memorial plaque. In these humble quarters in the first year of settlement resided Speaker Jidnan Varun, chosen of the Great Serpent. Okay. So how do I cons- oh. I have to med meditate in poisoned water. Well, that sounds great, doesn't it? This is not great, because I'm going to die. Okay, can I can I get up now, please? Okay, I've contemplated. It's a very grand affair, but I don't particularly wish to remain poisoned. Oh, look at this now. Look at me. Bloody 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 poison. Unbelievable. 
Yeah. Well, that must be him then. Good God, they must have terrible skin care here. Ooh. Okay, antique videotape, of all the things. Decent value on it. Gold pyramid sculpture. Look at this. Bloody hell. Explorer power pack. No thanks. This is just his little bathroom, I imagine. Indesite. Take that. Okay. Um. Well, it's been emotional. But yeah. Uh, up this way? Yep. Until that day comes, we are the voice and the hands of the great serpent. Our every act a sacrifice to hasten his return. Make Kid now a sacrifice to prove your devotion. And remember, whether in life or in death, all must serve. All right. So I had to kill this thing. That's a groat. Well. There you are. Killed it. So this is what we have to do. It seems a little... I don't know. A little on the nose, but alright. Okay, so now we have to do a ritual? Let us begin the final ritual. What's that involved? What? 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 While Lana since Jinanam Verum have stood before the great effigy of strength, effigy of presence, all fear is presence. All right. To solidify this bond, you are presented to simple choice. Before you, on this day, are several items. Okay. They represent different aspects of House Verum's connection to the great servant. Pick the, the two that call to you. Place them on the altars. Offer it to the great serpent that he may fill you with his spirit and make you promise. Okay, so effigy of perseverance, effigy of strength, effigy of obedience, effigy of devotion. Well, I think strength, definitely. Maybe perseverance, because I'm not very obedient and. I don't think I'm going to be massively devoted. Can we take... Can we just take all of them? Okay. We take all of them. Uh, Alright. So we need to go up here. Um, okay, so place effigy of strength. Here. Yeah. Alright. And then we have to put one over here. Oh, oof. And then place Effigy of Perseverance. There you are. Cool. Alright, can I just put these back? No, I'm going to keep them then. Call them souvenirs. Alright, there we go. Consider it done. Whoa. And so you arise, one of the promised of House Varun. Did you feel the great serpent working within you? Don't say Do that. Do you feel born anew? I don't want anything serpent-like within me, thank you. Um, There's more than one way to feel born anew, trust me. Yes. Your confidence is impressive. Very good. Through strength and perseverance, House Varun will triumph over all that stands in its way. I grant you the title of Vindicator. Vindicator all Eddie. All will know hmm. you. All will trust you. All right. Above us, in the Grand Ship Morning, jewel of the Varun fleet, the High Council awaits your arrival. Serve them. Serve the Great Serpent. All must serve. There you go, Lemon Pest. Do I look any different? Do I look... I don't know. Like a Vindicator? Sounds like a... Superhero title or some kind of one of them special groups that fights crime. The Vindicators! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Vindicators? Wasn't that... 
that Rick and Morty? An episode of Rick and Morty? Am I going simple? Never mind. All right, well, um, yeah, there you have it. The ritual is complete. I am a vindicator. But we will leave it there for today. Next time we will go in and see the council. But there you are. We have completed the Varun ritual. And we chose perseverance and strength. Officially a vindicator. And I do feel vindicated. Thankfully, there was no serpent within me. Because, no thank you. But, um, yes. So, until next time, be safe, be good. And look after yourselves. <laughs> <laughs>